The bull market is here. If you're looking to buy and sell altcoins, trade with leverage, and take advantage of this market, you should get your trading platforms ready. In this video, I'm gonna compare the four best non-KYC exchanges that I found. It's an update from my last video, so let's jump right in. So to make this video, I researched and compared over 15 non-KYC exchanges. I hate paying hidden fees and stuff like that. So based on doing all of this, the four best platforms we're gonna be looking at are Number one, MEXC. This is my favorite non-KYC exchange currently because you can find over 2,000 coins, substantial volume, and low fees. Platform number two is BingX. This is the largest exchange in terms of trading volume on this list, and it has a great reputation. Platform number three is LBank. This is one of the few non-KYC exchanges where you don't need a VPN. And last but not least, we have Femex at number four, which is a solid runner up with a variety of trading features. I think those are the top four on the market right now for non-KYC exchanges. They all have low trading fees, substantial trading volume, millions of users, and good security in my opinion. And of course, hundreds and even thousands of altcoins that you can trade in this market. And all of these platforms are listed below with the best trading discounts available. So if you want the trading discounts and bonuses to all of these exchanges, use the links in the description. But I think these are the four best. They're my favorite. They're what I'm using right now. And I use multiple platforms just to diversify, especially with non-KYC exchanges. But you can always compare these yourself by going to rankfi.com. So stick around. In the rest of the video, I'll go more in depth on each platform so you can find the best one for you. Now, if you're unfamiliar with non-KYC exchanges, they're popular for various reasons. Number one, anyone can sign up with just an email. Number two, you can trade way more altcoins than the regular exchanges. Number three, you get way more features like derivatives, copy trading, and staking. And you can also maintain your privacy if that's something you're looking for. Overall, you get access to way more crypto features and opportunities that otherwise might not be available in your region. That's why non-KYC exchanges have millions of users and people flock to them. They're just very easy to use. Now, what are the downsides? Here are five things you should keep in mind. Number one, these platforms might not be regulated in your region. So you should definitely do your own research on their security. Number two, the platforms I listed won't let you buy crypto using fiat. You can only deposit crypto and make crypto to crypto trades. Now you can check out the peer-to-peer -peer exchanges on this list if you want to buy crypto with fiat. Uh, for example, local coin swap is a popular option. And number three, these platforms could add a KYC in the future. For example, Binance and KuCoin used to offer no KYC. These things, these platforms are always changing their policies. So it's very likely in the future, you'll have to find a new platform and move your funds if they add KYC or just KYC on the platform. Number four, some platforms still restrict certain countries. Unfortunately, the USA is commonly restricted. You can still sign up anyways, but just be cautious and never hold all your funds on one exchange. I personally like to diversify. I've never had an issue, but worst case scenario, your funds could get frozen or locked. So do that at your own risk. And number five, expanding on the point above, some exchanges will block certain regions based on their IP address. So if you're seeing a message like this, you either need to find a different platform that doesn't block your IP or invest in a VPN, which lets you easily change your IP address. I'll link to my favorite VPNs in the description if you're interested, but again, use that at your own risk. Now let's go more in depth on each of the platforms I mentioned. So platform number one was MEXC. And it's number one for a few reasons. It's one of the biggest exchanges on this list in terms of trading volume. It has over 2,000 altcoins and they have the lowest trading fees. As you can see here, it's barely anything and zero maker taker fees right now for spot trading fees. Personally, this is the platform I'm using the most. And if you look here, they have all these categories. You can trade the newest meme coins, trending tokens, and with 2,000 coins, they're usually listing the newest tokens very regularly. So if you want to trade whatever's hot at the moment or get access to the most cryptos, that's what MEXC can offer. MEXC also has crypto futures, which is really popular. If you want to trade leverage responsibly, they have over 300 crypto futures trading pairs with up to 200x leverage. And if we go back to this list, they have the lowest futures trading fees on the market that I've been able to find so far for such a large exchange. Mexi has over 10 million users and CoinGecko gives them an eight out of 10 trust score and Certic gives them a security score of 80 out of 100. Usually when I wanna buy new altcoins or go long, Mexi is one of the platforms that I use. And if we go to the withdrawal section here, 
The daily withdrawal limit is 30 Bitcoin per day, which is the highest withdrawal limit on this list. Now, one of the downsides with MEXC is a lot of comments on Reddit and people saying uh, that MEXC is a scam or that if you make lots of profit, they freeze your funds. So I would look at the comments on Reddit. Personally, I haven't had any issues and I'm using this exchange a lot, but that is one thing to keep in mind. Personally, this is one of my favorite platforms and you can click the link in the description to get up to a $1,000 sign up bonus. Platform number two, we have Bing X. This platform also has over 10 million users and it's the largest exchange on this list in terms of trading volume. I think Bing X has a good reputation overall. They have their proof of reserves. They mentioned they have an insurance fund here, although they don't say how much it is. And they also have some big partnerships and millions of people using the exchange. And like all of these platforms, they've never had any hacks or lost any funds. Now, depending where you are, you'll probably need a VPN to use Bing X, but this is what the trading platform looks like. Pretty standard compared to other exchanges you'll find over 700 cryptocurrencies so all the popular altcoins and things you want to trade in usdt trading pairs then they also have derivatives with over 200 crypto futures you can trade as well as copy trading and other crypto features you can look into if you want a reputable platform with lots of altcoins and competitive fees there's a discount to bing x in the description as well now looking into platform number three we have l bank this platform is more under the radar but they still have over 7 million users and the fees are competitive as well with the other platforms and billions in daily trading volume this is an indie Indonesian based exchange and you don't need a VPN to use it. They support over 200 countries. So it's available to lots of people. It's large, low fees, and you can trade over 400 coins with over 240 crypto futures. Now, what I don't like about L Bank is they don't have much information about their security. They don't have a proof of reserves either but they have never had any hacks or incidents and they've been operating since 2015. So they do have a good track record. I would just like to see a little bit more information on their website about the security. But other than that, there are no red flags and I've been using this platform on the side as well. And I really like the user interface. The daily withdrawal limit for non-KYC accounts is 10,000 US dollars. It is the lowest on the list. Now, when I first opened an account, it was 0.5 Bitcoin per day. So just check what your account is. And last but not least, we have Femex. This exchange has been around for a while and they also have a good reputation never being hacked or having any incidents. It's the smallest platform on this list in terms of users and trading volume, but it's still a pretty good size with competitive fees and just a solid runner up depending what you're looking to trade. On Femex, you'll get all the crypto features you need like spot trading, copy trading, derivatives, trading bots, and so on, as you can see in the top navigation here. Just a lot of features and pretty standard, no KYC, looks like all the other exchanges, but compares pretty well against the competition, which is why it's on the list. And those are the four top platforms that I got from this list here of non-KYC exchanges. So again, you can find links to everything mentioned in this video in the description, as well as trading discounts and bonuses, the best ones that are available. And using those links helps me make more comparisons like this on rankfight.com. Let me know if there's any platforms you want me to review next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.